Today we're working with Lesson 123 from the Workbook of A Course in Miracles. Lesson 123. I thank my Father for His gifts to me. I thank my Father for His gifts to me. Today, let us be thankful. We have come to gentler pathways and to smoother roads. There is no thought of turning back and no implacable resistance to the truth. A bit of wavering remains, <laughs> some small objections and a little hesitance, but you can well be grateful for your gains, which are far greater than you realize. A day devoted now to gratitude will add the benefit of some insight into the real extent of all the gains which you have made, the gifts you have received. Be glad today. In loving thankfulness, your Father has not left you to yourself, nor let you wander in the dark alone. Be grateful He has saved you from the self you thought you made to take the place of Him and His creation. Give Him thanks today. Give thanks that He has not abandoned you, and that His love forever will remain shining on you, forever without change. Give thanks as well that you are changeless, for the Son He loves is changeless as Himself. Be grateful you are saved. Be glad you have a function in salvation to fulfill. Be thankful that your value far transcends your, me your meager gifts and petty judgments of the one whom God established as his son. Today, in gratitude, we lift our hearts above despair and raise our thankful eyes, no longer looking downward to the dust. We sing the song of thankfulness today in honor of the self that God has willed to be our true identity in Him. Today we smile on everyone we see and walk with lightened footsteps as we go to do what is appointed us to do. We do not go alone and we give thanks that in our solitude a friend has come to speak the saving word of God to us. And thanks to you for listening to Him his word is soundless if it be not heard. In thanking him, the thanks are yours as well. An unheard message will not save the world, however mighty be the voice that speaks, however loving may the message be. Thanks be to you who heard, for you become the messenger who brings his voice with you and lets it echo round and round. The world. <laughs> Thanks be to you who heard, for you become the messenger who brings his voice with you and lets it echo round and round the world. For he would offer you the thanks you give, since he receives your gifts in love and gratitude, and gives them back a thousand and a hundred thousand more than they were given. He will bless your gifts by sharing them with you. And so they grow in power and in strength until they fill the world with gladness and with gratitude. Receive his thanks and offer yours to him for 15 minutes twice today. And you will realize to whom you offer thanks and whom he thanks as you are thanking him. This holy half an hour given him will be returned to you in terms of years for every second. Power to save the world eons more quickly for your thanks to him. Receive his thanks and you will understand how lovingly he holds you in his mind, how deep and limitless his care for you, how perfect is his gratitude for you. Remember hourly to think of him and give him thanks for everything he gave his son, that he might rise above the world, remembering his father and his self. That's lesson 123. 
I thank my father for his gifts to me. If you'd like to read my commentary on the workbook this year, go to amytorresasim.com and click on Amy's blog. Namaste.